and welcome back to Relax, Relate, and Review, where I take your products and I review them. So today, we have several products today. Um, one, I'm going to be doing an update on this brand here. If you can see it, I'm doing an update on here. This product is so good if you are looking to get some restful sleep this is the product that you should be um getting i ran across this brand on facebook and um so i just ordered it uh it was free but you had to pay for the shipping so i ordered it and i tried it and i have been getting the most restful sleep ever because I told y'all I don't sleep menopause so I have I hadn't been sleeping but this product has been helping me sleep really really well and so uh speaking of menopause I um ordered me some ashwagandha and I just got the uh spring valley kind uh, but there are so many different ones on the market right now. And I started taking these, I want to say, a couple of days ago. And um, they do help with your mood. So they are supposed to help with your mood. But one thing about these, they will get you in the mood. If <laughs> it helps your libido, my daughter recommended me to uh, take these and she was like, mom, you know, now one thing about it, it's going to get you in the mood, but it helps with your mood. So uh, it kind of helps with anxiety. If you suffer from anxiety, if you suffer from like mood swings, especially being menopausal. You suffer from a lot of mood swings, so uh, ashwagandha helps with that. And if you have a low libido as a woman and with menopause or being premenopausal, your libido does go down. So this does help with that as well. So uh, just try to find one that's good for you. Uh, Goalie has... Uh, a good one. Uh, I saw Tabitha Brown talk about the one, the goalie one, and uh, she has had great experiences with that. So this one, no complaints. I I love it. I mean, it it does what it needs to do. So ashwagandha. If you are premenopausal or if you are menopausal. Ashwagandha is good for your mood. Uh, it's good for uh, if you have low libido. It's good for all those things. So go pick some up and just try it just to see uh, what brand works for you. And um, see if, if it does increase your mood or calms your mood down all right so my next product i got this from uh this sample from l'oreal and it is the l'oreal night cream and it's supposed to be uh firming it's supposed to smooth wrinkles it's supposed to have a 24 hour hydration and i've had this before and it does work this does work so uh if you are looking for something if your skin is um maybe not um as smooth as you want it to be uh this is good for at night if you have a nighttime routine so if you want i do have uh, a video about skincare and i talk about a morning routine and a night routine and this is something that you can incorporate into your night uh, skin routine because you want to do things 
in the morning time and at night to keep your uh, skin looking flawless. So me, I'm coming up on 50 and a lot of people say I don't look my age. I don't know. I don't look 50. My mom is like, she'll be 69 this year and she doesn't look her age. So sometimes they say black don't crack, but it's just how you take care of your skin. And my mom has always had a beauty regimen where she took care of her skin. I can remember growing up with how she took care of her skin and she still does the same thing now. So she has beautiful skin, beautiful, flawless skin. So ladies, get into the habit of having a AM and PM skin routine. And it will really show a difference in your skin when you do AM and PM. So I always get perfume samples and so today i got three three new ones in um and hubby was kind of upset because he didn't get any but these came directly from the uh perfume um maker they had it on facebook uh get the sample and so this one is Aryan, and i have some of their other ones and this one is the rose it smells so good if you're into the rose scent this smells so good so you can go and check them out they have like the uh, amber one the musk one um well it's amber musk but it smells so good and rose is coming up to be spring so i'm going to save this for the spring to see how uh it smells uh doing like everything blooming and stuff so yeah the next one i have is the burberry goddess i think i've had this before it smells really good but yeah, they sent me this uh, straight from Burberry. Uh, they had to get the sample. But uh, yeah, Burberry Goddess is another one. And I always say, if you can't afford to get like the big bottles, go on Macy's.com, like about 10 posts, and they will send you a thing on Facebook where you can get the samples and they'll send you like six samples sometimes it's mixed with men and women but that's a way you can um try a perfume or cologne without spending a lot of money so if you like it then if you want to buy it cool but it's just a way you can get uh perfume for free so my next one is the alien goddess and they sent me the form to uh do the survey on it but they were saying the uh, elixir the angel elixir one but this is the one that i just got so i'm waiting on them to send me another survey so i can um talk about the sample this one smells so good this smells almost musky like a musk and it puts me in the mind of i have a bath and body work lotion over here and it smells just like that it smells really good and it will pair well together and I'll do a video on pairing uh, lotions and perfume where you layer your uh, perfume and lotions to make it last a lot longer. 
uh, a lot of girlies on TikTok and stuff, they do that, but I was doing that when I was a teenager, way before it was a thing. I was layering perfume and lotion together, pairing it together back in the 90s. So these girlies think they are doing something new. No, baby, it's just a repeat. We have been doing that. People of my age, we have been doing that. And I learned that from my mom. So it, it may have come from when she was a teenager, layering perfumes and, and lotions together. So it's just a repeat. We just, you know, repeat things that, you know, we learn from our parents and we pass it on to our kids. And so, yeah. But you guys, that is all for today. And... I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.